Hello YouTube, this is Gamer James here with my penultimate video on Space Hulk Ascension, which is a turn-based strategy game based on the tabletop franchise or game created by Games Workshop in the 80s originally. It's had a couple spin-offs since then, a half-decent PlayStation 1 and a couple video game ones. So just a little bit of uh, history about it here. I'm not going to get full nerd on for the Warhammer side of things. But, um, Warhammer 40k is based on a far future universe where basically everything is terrible and humanity is kind of this throwback quasi-religious, technologically forward, but also kind of backwards universe where everything's trying to kill humanity. Um, there's scientific elements, magical elements, but uh, we're going to stick to the bare bones here just to keep this from running into a 20 minute what is 40k video. So, uh, I've only played the tutorial on this so far, so I'm just going to click on New Game here to get things started. Eventually. I had some problems with it loading. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Okay, there we go. So, um, unlike the original game, which was only based around the Blood Angels, Space Hulk Ascension has a couple different chapters. Now, chapters are kind of like the militant orders, like the Templar and the Teutonic Knights. They have different heraldry, colors, and a little bit of differing beliefs. Now, these bottom three can all are DLC, you gotta pay for them, I haven't done so yet. Now, Ultramarines are kind of your classic Roman Centurion kind of guys, they believe in honor, and loyalty, and decency. Blood Angels are very similar, uh, the red guys here, uh, they're kind of honor honorable vampires, they believe in a lot of blood-sucking rituals, and tasting the Holy Chalice, and that kind of thing, where the Space Wolves are more space vikings. They're from a snow world. They worship the wolves, as you might see from the wolf skull, skull, wolf skull, wolf tail, wolf shoulder symbol. Basically, and the claws, you know, they're they're very vikingish. But we're going to start with the ultramarines, since they're the kind of normal, kind of most understandable, and that they believe in what we would understand in honor and glory and fighting for your brothers and that kind of thing. So, space marines are basically genetically augmented humans that are kind of genetically purified so that they can be warriors to kind of fight on the level of certain aliens. Now, Terminators are kind of, which these guys are the big bulky Terminator armor, are supposed to be like the best of the best. The best Space Marines can become Terminators. And the name of the game, Space Hulk, a Space Hulk is a large drifting spaceship that's usually full of aliens, but also can have a lot of, you know, lost technology and relics and stuff that they're going to want. So I'm going to pick these guys. I'm going to put on normal, uh, normal spawn rate, chance to hit, Kill Terminators are replaced. That doesn't seem overly fair. Okay, fine, we'll put on hard. That seems more realistic than if one of my guys gets killed, they get replaced by not a veteran. So, let's get this started. Select a campaign. Well, these are the three chapter symbols. Space Wolves, Blood Angels, and Ultramarines. So I'm going to do Ultramarines here, because that's who I picked. I guess that's good. I guess that means you can use the different chapters and the different campaigns. Ultramar, which is the home system of the of the Ultramarines, is one of the most heavily defended areas of the Imperium, a constantly patrolled grid of tightly interlocking sensor arrays and auger off stations. Anything that enters the region without transmitting Imperial recognition codes will be quickly quarantined and, if necessarily, destroyed. Thus, it is the hundreds of years since Ultramar came under serious threat. Now a vast Space Hulk has emerged from the warp in the outskirts of the Circe system. Codenamed Fortress of Desolation, the Space Hulk's course still take an orbit around the gas giant and send it in the direction of Macrage, or... I think that's how you pronounce that. The capital of Ultramar and homeworld of the Ultramarines. The chapter has dispatched your forces to divert or destroy the Space Hulk before it reaches Macrage? Macrage? I always pronounce it Macrage, but I've heard recently that may be incorrect. Macrage is the homeworld. And these are my two squads. This symbol denotes sergeants, heavy weapons guys, gunners, and people. Oh, there's usually a cross sword symbol for people that are better at melee. So, objectives. Destroy the Space Hulk Fortress of Desolation, which I guess is this big bulky thing, so its mansions crammed all over the place. Typical Space Hulk fashion. Secure your ground. Enter the Space Hulk, deactivate the shields, and pave the way. Sounds good. Um, well, since I have to pick which squad I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one, because this is my first squad. I think they're both equal right now, but like I said, I've only played the tutorial, so I'm going to assume that's the case. If I'm taking in all the numpty marines, we'll find out pretty shortly if they all die horrible, horrible deaths. The honor of leading the first squad to the breach of the Fortress of Desolation falls with you. With Macrange itself under threat, there is no time to waste. You must enter the Space Hulk and reach the Gantry Room Cogitator, which I guess is like a main computer, where you can deactivate the shields, allowing the rest of the Strike Force to advance. 
Aspects reading show alien life. Be prepared to face whatever alien filth has made its home. Yeah, they're kind of xenophobic. The squad, oh. Accept your orders. So, deactivate the shield here. And escape. And I got some additional info. Deploy your terminators here. Deploy at least three. Well, if I can, Ready I'm going to command it. Ready as commanded. Okay, so let's go deploy our guys. It's kind of cool. Lighting effects are very nice. Onward's brother in his glory. Yes, there's a lot of capital his, because everybody in the future worships the Emperor, who's kind of a semi-divine mythological Great. figure, Thank kind of like a combination too. of Jesus and Odin, I guess, would be kind of the weird way of putting it. He walked as a man, and then was died, and sits now upon the throne, guiding humanity. So this is kind of cool. You got the sensor radius here. You got kind of a helmet cam, actually, up here of what's in front of my people. I wonder if that's actually rendered, or like, straight from where it is. Let's take a look. Okay, I want to go here. And my guys got so many action points, can take all his action points. Oh yeah, cool, so... That's really cool. Can I make that bigger? I can. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna make it a little bigger, just because... That kind of harkens back to the original Space Hulk from the 80s. I played the old PC game, and it actually had that up in the corner. I thought that was pretty cool. So this is my second guy, Augustus. He's got a big flamethrower. He's going to follow my first guy. He doesn't have enough action points to yes, turn, so he's going to have a nice stare at the wall. Yes, this wall is a threat. Watch it carefully. My third guy, Marcus. He's also going to have a nice wall staring. I'm assuming that it takes a certain number of action points to move and turn. Yes, yeah, so they're kind of sidestepping and ending facing the wall. Probably not the most glorious kind of way to stand, but... Clear of path. He walked... He only walked three steps. Does that mean he has less? Yeah, because this guy's got four, so he's going to just turn with one. So I'm assuming this guy has one less. Hopefully he makes up with that otherwise. Okay, so all my guys have moved. I don't detect any aliens. At least I don't assume that I do. i got to get my people over here. He's hopefully not going to shoot his buddy in the back. That's really cool. I really like that. But yeah, I've been a fan of the 40k universe for a long time. I played the miniatures game, painted the models and that kind of thing for the tabletop. But uh, over the past couple of years, I've played a lot of the games. And the games on the whole have been kind of middling. Not so great. Not that they've been terrible, but kind of low on the budgetary and fun scale. I mean, the more you know about the universe, the more a game's going to let you down normally, just because they can't fit in all the little tidbits that you know as a fan. It's kind of like all the fan stuff for Star Trek and Star Wars, where people, you know, oh, they didn't get his lightsaber color correct, and that kind of thing. Okay, so open the door automatically. Get the lighting effects, and there's a really nice the kind of shadow and the, the helmet flashlights there. A lot of little nice details on the ground. It's pretty nice. Alright, Flamer guy is going to follow him. He's finally going to be like, oh, jeez. Looking down the hallway. Uh, who are you going to go with? we got Flamer and Sergeant over here, so you're going to... Oh, he's only got one long-range gun. So yeah, so these guys have bolters. They're like big double barrel Miniature rocket launchers, basically. They shoot a big explosive bolt with the propellant. I'm pretty badass, uh, supposedly. We'll see how they fare here. Pretty sure I'm just up against Tyranids, which are kind of terrible aliens, but I'll explain that a little more if we actually see any. Alright, so still not picking up anything. That's probably not a good sign. Oh, okay, so there's a sensor marker. That means there's something over here. Look out. Again, very turn-based, so if that's really not your thing, this is not, not a real-time strategy game. Now, I don't know how far they can move. I'm kind of worried I just put old Demetrius here in danger. But we'll find out soon. Uh, Flamer guy... Yeah, you, you hang back a little Taking bit. Position. Demetrius gets killed. Can I have this guy move while the other guy's moving? Okay, good. So that'll speed up turns a little bit. I can... Oop. Too many guys moving at once, I guess. My computer's not the best. It's alright, but... Looks like it defaulted to pretty hostile nice graphics. And if this isn't nice graphics, then... Oh, hostile targets ahead. Okay, so... Uh, can you shoot? Oh, okay, so we got three tier dids. Tier dids are kind of kind of like the aliens from Aliens. They're horrible monsters. You know, four arms, two legs. They're very fast. They rip through armor. I call, these particular aliens are called gene stealers. Now, it sounds a little funny. They're not actually stealing your Levi's. They're, they steal or change your genetic code, those genes. So it's G-E-N-E -E, stealers. So I'm kind of worried this guy might be a little bit in trouble there, because I'm pretty sure these guys can run really far. But let's see how he does. Oh, he turned on his power fist. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, he's going to pause there. This guy's a little nervous. I think it just immediately switched over to my turn there now. 
All right, so man, these guys turn the power fist on. That's kind of power fists are basically big gloves with like an energy field around them that basically makes their punches do like ridiculous amounts of damage. So I'm gonna back you off. Oh, you back off, sure works for me. And I'm gonna put you. Actually, okay, we're gonna go into what's called Overwatch. So basically, he's gonna stand there and he's gonna shoot people when they show up. Now this guy's got a flamer. This would be a really really good place to just put a flamer, but I don't know if you can shoot through this guy's back. No, he can't. Oh, okay, so we can only hit him, and then I can put the flame all over that. That's not what I want to do. What I should have done is probably backed up the sergeant into this space, so that way the flamer guy could just fill the whole area. But that's not what I did, because I'm not very smart. Oh, good job. Now you're facing the wrong way. What are you doing here, Augustus? Stomping around like a daisy. Alright, yeah, I'll turn you and put you on Overwatch. And Quintus, or Demetrius, bites it. So now we go over to this problem. So yeah, maybe hard was not the right thing to do here. Um, okay, let's open up on these guys. We've got a 30%, 35% chance to hit. That's really bad. You know. Alright, never mind, Marcus. You got what it takes, apparently. Now, he can't hit these other guys. Oh, there's another guy there. Now, he's only got two left, so I could shoot again, but then I couldn't put him on Overwatch. So I'm going to put him on Overwatch. No, he's he's Overwatch. probably going to die, because they're just going to line up and they're going to run at him. Unless Marcus is really lucky. So, Tarkin here, I'm going to turn him, and I'm going to put him on Overwatch, so that when Marcus dies, Tarkin will just take over blazing away, and hopefully... My concern is that I'm going to get bogged down in a big shoot fest and they're just going to keep spawning and swarming in and I'm never going to make it to the objective, which would be bad. As I said, this is my first game out of the tutorial, and this is the tutorial obviously was holding my hand a fair amount here. So yeah, let me see what it looks like. I'm going to throw this camera here. Okay, yeah, so you can, that's kind of cool. You can actually see it there. He's not shooting because it's a turn-based game, but that's kind of cool. And then we got him over here. He can see the one down the hallway, and there's one creep around the corner. So I'm going to put it on him, and I want to see through his see through his eyes here when I might turn and see if he can actually. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Killed. Missed. Missed. Oh, now it's fighting hand to hand. He pulped it. Good. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, it's my guy over there. My sergeant. Oh, I think the sergeant just got killed. Oh, yeah. Avenge me, my brothers. Yeah, he's dead. And here's the other guy. Oh no, this is him again. Both my guys? Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Okay, so those guys are very good. Running up. Oh, wow. Okay, that was bad. So now my secondary objective is to exit with three more Terminators. I cannot lose any more guys. So what do we got? We got one guy coming from over here. We know they're going to be coming this way, so we're going to have to do like kind of a forward crawl here, I guess. Okay, his bolter is overheated. So it'll cost me one to cool the weapon. Weapon operational. Weapon operational. Alright, we're gonna... Okay, I can power fist him. Does that tell me what my chances are? 83. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, let's try to hit him. Oh, pulp him good. Lens and burn. Okay, so there might be some more over here, but my sensors ain't picking them up, so... We really gotta move, because they're just gonna keep stacking Taking up on us. Position. Okay, now that circle designates an alien spawn point, I think, so if I can get a guy in there, they'll actually stop coming out of that point. Now, I'm really worried that they're just gonna tear into this, because I don't think I have enough movement to open the door and shoot. Let's try it. Go. Oh, it takes some action to open the door. Well... That's not good. Okay, well... I hope you can hold your own there, Brother Quintus, because if you can't, I might failed the mission. Which would not be good. Oh. See, I'm trying to think where I went wrong here. But splitting them up was really that bad an idea. I could have had a big old group here, come some guys walking backwards. That probably would have been better. Splitting them up on a map this big was probably a bad idea. But, it's all on you, Augustus. You get killed, I lose. Come on, power fist. Oh, that's that was bad. My brothers. Well, that is a mission failed for the Ultramarines.
Yeah, too many Terminators have died. I killed six. That's really bad, though. Everyone of these Terminators is probably like 200 years old, or like decades of centuries of killing experience. These things have probably been alive for like a week. Okay, so this is it replacing me with more level 1 guys. Now, losing those guys really didn't do anything, I'm assuming, except hurt my pride really badly that I bungled this Terminator mission so badly that uh, they all died horribly. Can I see my new guys? Or are, they, are you my new guys? I'm assuming you guys are. I don't know. Demetrius and Augustus, those are the guys that lived. So Magnus, Rufus, and Quintus are the new blood. Okay. Alright. Okay, well this guy's a librarian. Which, well, that sounds kind of weird. He's a psychic. So I'm going to try swapping out Demetrius for the psychic. Albus. Can I give him a better looking helmet? I don't like the... F you know, why would you keep your face open? I mean, they're just going to stab you in the face. Eh, I guess not. No, it kind of makes sense. I got all the psychic circuitry in there, amplifying their mental abilities and all that fun stuff. Okay, Magnus. Okay, you're the flamethrower guy. I want to give you... You need this thing. There, you're not covering your face. Everybody should look a little bit unique. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can kind of change their adornment. See, that's new. I've played some other Space Hulk games that never offered this level of customization. Wow, okay. Rufus, you're not wearing the the awesome belt of your chapter. You're all first rank, I think. Yeah, so I didn't lose anything by them dying, except pride. So, let's try this again. This will tell us if it's the same map, for one. And it takes Squad Albus. Oh, the name of the squad's after the, the leader. Alright, let's try this. This time we're all going to stick together. Fortress of Desolation. Yeah, a lot of things in this game, in the universe, actually, are very grim names. You're never going to find, like, you know... Sergeant of the Squad. You would never find the Enterprise. It would be... The Fortress of Desolation, or Sin of Damnation, or... Corrupter of Charon. It looks like the same map. Alright. To deployment. Let's skip the little circles. Onwards, brother, in his glory. Base and duty. Okay, and Flamer Dude. Radius Commander. And three gunners. Stop selecting that guy. That's a little annoying. Faith and duty. Rufus. Faith and, and duty. Quintus. The Emperor's finest. The Emperor's finest. Damn right. Alright, so this time, this librarian has got his sword that's powered by his psychic energy. Yeah, so they do have to see. These guys have to move three, and these guys have to move four. I should probably have, like, one of the four guys here, and the other one in the back. Well, the guy in the back's right. So, anyway, let's keep moving forward. So, yeah, Space Marines. Pinnacle of human genetic and warfare. Acknowledged. Supposedly. Can't make it any bigger. Oh, okay. I can turn off the tire if I want to. Oh, that's cool. Kind of a predator view there. Eh, that's kind of cool. I cannot see myself ever using that. With all due haste. So, so far, despite my initial failure, this is a pretty, pretty good ahead. game. I mean, I failed and immediately started up again for somebody with kind of chronic frustration issues or getting annoyed when that happens. And, you know, a good sign. Alright, so... We know they're coming. I don't think they spawn Neolines in the first, the very first turn. Okay, so you move up. Follow him. Flamer guy's good, because if he can actually get his flamer off, he instantly kills any gene stealer. And I think the flame lingers, and any gene stealer that runs into the fire also dies. So it's good for kind of closing off an area in an emergency. So what I'm going to do now is take this guy, Quintus, and he's going to just start walking backward, and he's going to overwatch behind us, and hopefully it'll have a long corridor where he can just blaze away with impunity. That sounds like a plan. Tracking Zeno's movement. And no scum. They always talk with really big, dramatic voices. Okay, now I see here he's got a second resource that says 10. I'm assuming that's like psychic points or something. Uh, okay, so I've got these, these. Okay, I can attack. Okay, so he does have psychic skills. Prescience. Terminators within six tiles gain an extra action. That's really handy. 
Now I wonder if they're like lesser at fighting or shooting to make up for that. Because if I move these guys up, Clear a well, it won't do me any good to do that now because it'll give these guys an action point behind him that won't do anything because they're log jammed behind the guy. So I think I can just keep this guy moving backward, but it costs him a little bit of action points to move backward. Yeah, okay. All right. So Quintus bringing up the rear. Now, taking a quick look at the screen, I know what this does. It's a little visual thing. Those are my objectives. What is this stuff down here? Oh, okay. It gives me his weapon skill. 20% melee chance, 30% range chance. How many action points? Perception is... has perception range. So I'm assuming that affects my scanning range or how far out he can shoot on Overwatch. Toughness. How easily the space marine can shrug off injury. So if I'm assuming the way it, the game was basically rolling virtual dice. The roll to hit, and then roll to wound, and then death. So the gene stealer has to beat my melee skill, and then beat my strength. Or be beat my toughness, basically, to kill me. I'm okay with that. So willpower is focus points. Tear of the space hulk, as well as resistance. Okay, so that's resistance to psychic powers, and I'm assuming the willpower does a little bit more for my Psyker up here. Yeah, because he's actually got focus points and stuff to actually do stuff. Alright, well, let's see how badly this goes. If this goes really badly again, I might have to lower the difficulty. Kinda hope... Oh, okay, this is a bad situation. This is a bad situation. Okay. So we got... at least four, I'm assuming? Unless it's like a motion tracker and it's just picking this guy running up. And we got one guy over here. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sidestep the librarian. Okay, so they don't get a reaction movement to count. Okay, combo is move and shoot. Good to know. I don't that didn't cost him anything. And flamer guy. Okay, flamer guy, you're gonna hit attack. Focused fire pattern. Okay, well that's not so good to me because I'm losing some of my fire into the walls here, but I see there's some other fire patterns. Long fire. Okay, well that one's pretty perfect. Can I like just fill the room? Because I know I got these guys coming down here, it's gonna be a problem. See, that's... If I could make it hit that square in front of him, like if I can just make him shoot at the floor, that would be perfect, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Yeah, that should fill these three. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that one's still alive. That's not good. Alright, you move out of the way. I guess they activate their weapons when they see an alien. That's pretty cool. Eh. That was a bad idea. I thought the door was closed. Well, that's not good. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need... How many does he have? He has four. Okay, so I'm going to use this guy's psychic ability. Prescience. He's going to give these guys... Okay, so you got an extra thing, so you can close that door you just opened. It's going to take that guy an action point to open the door. And this guy's now got five. So I'm going to move him up, and I think that means he's going to take a free shot as he moves up. There we go. Alright. And then I'm going to move you up and face you With this you way. Face. And I'm going to put you on overwatch and kind of hope that you're going to shoot at this guy as he opens up the door. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping the fire will contain these guys over here. Alright, so you move up. You... Can you take... Okay, you gotta... Oh! See? Look at that. This is a great idea. You can take a step back. Go to the watch. watch. You still got one left. Can I do another one? Or I just take him off Overwatch. Okay. Yeah, so that's what it is. Um... So I can take a shot. And then I'll still have two to put him on Overwatch. So. Yeah, it was apparently achievement. Kill five gene sealers. Okay, perfect. So we gunned that guy down. Now I'm gonna have to put him on overwatch. There we go. Take the stance. And these guys are really log jammed. It'd be nice if I could spread them out a little bit. I'll put you on overwatch. Just because uh, there's no point in hoarding abilities as far as I know. You've still got two. Why don't you go on overwatch? Oh, everybody's watching everybody's backs. Okay. Okay, so a little bit of lag. This guy shoot at that guy missed. Flamer guy punches him in the face. Very nice. Okay, we got lots of hostiles incoming. That flame did not last long enough, so it just persists through my turn and then his turn. Gotcha. 
Okay. Flamer guy. You've only got... Okay, Multiple so why targets you here? acquired. Multiple targets acquired. Burn the unrighteous mutant brother. Bathe him in the cleansing flame of the Emperor. Purge the Seamus filth. Okay, so that went all the way out. Now, I don't know where this guy's coming. I don't know if he can come up here. That would be kind of bad. But if he has to come down here, then he's got to run through the fire. That sounds good to me. So he's out of... Magnus is out of movement. Let's move you over here, and you should get free shot him. There. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, Augustus, you are going to overwatch. I was kind of hoping you could go a little further. Okay, Al Rufus, you come over here. And you get ready to follow Flamer Guy. Stomp on that dead body. Nice touch there. Um, and you get ready to follow them. Now, I could use a psychic power again, but we're kind of long jammed up behind Albus, and I think it takes two to move, so that wouldn't be a good idea. What else can you do? Meditation, which you can't do, not available. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. Um, I guess I'll put you on a for for any any reason. And you're gonna. Kind of worried this guy's gonna fall behind and get ambushed. But I don't see anybody there. So we'll back him up again. We're gonna not put him on Overwatch in the hopes that he doesn't get completely wasted. See, this is going much better keeping them in the group. That was a much better idea. So it's kind of weird. We're kind of like the slow lumbering. Okay, so that guy did come in through there. That's. bad. Well, I could hit them. I've only got a certain number of shots with the flamethrower, and I can't reload it. And I don't think I can just shoot at an empty space, either. Oh, I can. Okay, I don't think I can shoot at an empty space that can actually hit him. I could set it on fire and let him walk into it. Yeah, it has to go at least one space, and then I can activate it. But I just need him out of the way. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's not what I wanted now. Oh, okay. That's bad. He just turned around. So, now it's going to come and basically hit him in his blind side, which I'm sure has all kinds of penalties. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So, you can at least now face the right way and hopefully punch that Xenos in the face. You are going to back up one more. You're going to go on Overwatch. Affirmative. Affirmative. Now, I think we got more people coming over here. It surprised me if I didn't. So, you take a step forward. It takes one to step forward. For some people? I don't know. And you're going to go on Overwatch. Let them come. And you are going to take a step to Moving. your left. And then turn. So we're kind of stacked up. Alright. If you can punch that alien in the face and not die, I would be very impressed with you there, Magnus. you got a great name. Let's make it happen. No mercy. Yes! Nice. Very nice. Okay, see? Put him on Overwatch. Okay. You can only see through his gun camera. He's doing a great job. Keep up the good work, Quintus. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of aliens again. Now, at least two. So let's put some fire down that corridor there. Eh, long fire, sure. Fill the whole friggin' area. You are very, very dead, my Zeno's friend. Okay, so let's get you out of the way. I don't like you leading with the flamer because you're going to run an ammo and you're just going to be a big punch guy. That's not good. Okay, Rufus, you are the guy with very low points. So let's just move you up here and sidestep you. Let's get him moving up. I'll put it on Overwatch in case somebody else runs down that... Uh, I really love that little gun camera window. That's really cool. All right, so you're up there. How you doing on ammo here? You're the one firing the most bullets. Okay, so this is the overheat. I guess you fire too much, your gun will jam, which is different. In the game, usually, if you just got critical fail, gun jammed, you were done. Uh, let's back you up. Moving. And we know they can come from this side, so Augustus, you stay on. Are you on? 
Oh. The enemy will fall. So are you still on Overwatch? Oh, okay. Moving them, take that. Okay. When I was moving them, it was taking them out of Overwatch, and it, it, by doing that, it refunded two of the points. I was wondering why he could only back up two. But as soon as I moved him, it took him out of Overwatch and refunded those two points. Okay, that wasn't overly clear. So... I could back you up. And then... Yeah, let's do that. As long as we can keep the group closer together, that's a much better idea. So, see, he got his two points refunded, so now I can put him back. Oh, uh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, now hopefully neither we're gonna get blindsided. blindsided. Never mind, that's exactly what happened. So we got a huge problem. This is this is bad. In a very serious. We are getting surrounded. S completely surrounded. Okay. You go there. Uh, I gotta come right through there. Okay, so you go on Overwatch. You. Oh, this is just bad. These T junctions, man, I tell you. Alright, you turn. And fill that entire area with fire. I don't know. I can put it there. Yeah, let's put it there. <laughs> if I want to come through there, I gotta run through. I think I might even go right there. Fantastic. Now, I don't know what that lightning bolt means. I'm assuming that means I might have damaged the door, but not too concerned. They can send me the bill. Now, he can only move two. Why is that? Okay, there we go. Just what I'm talking about. Take him off Overwatch. Oh, but if I do that... He can't... Oh, I need to get these guys more points. Okay, don't do that. Right-clicking is cancel. That seems to be very important. Okay. Move up. And put you on Overwatch. Overwatch. So, hopefully if somebody runs into that space, you'll kill them before they attack. Uh, you, brothers... Now, you're actually shooting that way. And you're shooting that way, but you got a much longer way. So you stay there. You come out over. Yes, my lord. I want you to take one AP to turn. Okay, take one AP to turn, and you are going to reload the weapon. So you used it all. I think for every shot they fire two, so 20-20 actually means I get ten shots. Okay, and reloading the weapon actually cooled it down a little bit too, so that's good. A lot riding on you here, Rufus. You're kind of trusting your brothers to guard your back there. That might be a mistake. But we're almost there. So we're right there. Okay, gun that one down. That was good. Look at that gun. Got all over. Gun down another one. Great job, Rufus. My Got another one. Me. Oh, it was Bolter Jan from overheating. That's not good. Okay, that guy went through the fire and died. That guy is in his face. Okay. Wow. Rufus. Great job, buddy. Uh, what's your percentage to hit with this thing? 76. Now, there is a chance that it'll counter. Like, if I roll really bad, it'll counter and kill me right out. So I'm halfway wondering... If I should have this guy flame here again to block off these guys coming. And have him back up and just let the librarian have at it. But that's... That's not really the Terminator way. Honor and glory to the face. He wants to kill this guy first. Honor. Oh, that's not good. No. Well, I'm really sorry. I, honor got him killed. Or I did. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take blame for that one. That's on me. <sighs> Playing with my head. Okay, so we got burst fire. That's new. What does that do? It's too bright. Multiple fire, four shots. But I think it only still only hits one guy. Bolter fire, single rhine. Aimed fire, single fire. Plus ten to hit. Suppressing fire, area damage. Slows gene stealers, but has a 50% chance of... Jam? I'm assuming that's what that says. Alright. This is not going the way I want it. 1 AP, 2 AP, how many you got? 2? Alright. 
Well, let's do a single shot. 50-50 chance. Miss. Of course, there's no chance any of those shots would have hit the following guys, of course. Oh, they teleported him out. Get his remains back. Now, I can fire again. And every additional shot apparently increases the accuracy of the one before. So I got 75% now. So let's do that. You shall be cleansed. Okay. So there's more coming. I've got two points left. Overwatch protocol initiated. You, my large flamer man, who very quickly is running out of ammo, and I might very soon have to just kind of turn you into a punch guy. Light it up so they got to run through the fire. Okay. You move Securing up. position. Now I'm kind of worried that we're getting hemmed in on two directions with. Augustus here. So Augustus, clear a path. You're gonna come this way, and you're gonna turn because you're gonna start doing the back walk again. You only got half your rounds, but I'll have to fix that next turn. Can we switch places? Like, is there any way I can like make them like kind of walk around each other? They're just too wide. Looks like they just might be too wide. Okay. Okay, got him. Good shot. Good shooting. Okay, they walked right through that fire. That's not supposed to happen. That's not good. Okay. You got one shot left. You got a whole bunch of guys in front of you. Match made in flamethrower heaven right here. So let's just fill that corridor with cleansing fire. Cleanse. Nice. I think I might have killed like three or four guys there. Fantastic. Okay, psychic skills takes one. Okay, so all these guys have one additional one, so we can just start running down the hallway. Let's go. With all due haste. I'm hoping if I move him here, I might be able to actually get him close enough to get blocked. Okay, so they can't spawn in there anymore. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, you guys follow your leader. Don't see anybody, so let's go all out. Good job, Quintus. I still have two. You don't really have anything to do. You're just gonna wait there. And you, Augustus. Can I just backwalk you? Okay, you know what? We, we don't have time for that. We gotta go. I'm not leaving this guy behind to kind of lag, because it looks like we're just gonna hit this switch here, and then gun it. I hope that's basically a straight line. Looks like there's a couple doors in the way. It's kind of... I can see that. Okay, atmosphere. This game's really getting to me. I'm getting the whole claustrophobic hallway feeling, and the fire, and the darkness, and the audio sound effects, and the kind of growls. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so there's obviously a spawn point up here. Oh, probably that right there. Okay, so... That was their whole turn. Sounds good to me. Uh, okay, you go here. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Looks like there's only two ways into this room. So now I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Deactivate the shield. Okay, so. The shields on the ship are now deactivated. So my fellow brothers can... Enemy inbound. Go to war. Teleport in all the stuff they need. Get a little bit of incremental leg. Might have to turn down a little bit. Okay. And in comes Quintus. Big hallway of blood that the librarian and the fallen brother filled. Ooh, we got guys. Okay, well, I'm hoping I can get this far and then just spin and put him on Overwatch and he can just fill that corridor with bullets. So that's everybody. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like they're definitely filling in behind me. You've only got five rounds. There's no real way to dance you guys into position. Augustus, things might not be looking too good. Target. Okay, turn and shoot. Forgot about that. Now one, two, three, four, five. Is his psychic thing going to be? Does it go one, two, three, four, five, six? Well, even then, it should give it to him. All right. If we give him the extra prescience, he should get three. Okay, so that'll be enough to reload his bolter. 
and put him on Overwatch. Weapon at the ready. Very nice. Okay, so you're gonna come over here. We're basically gonna run as fast as we can. as fast as we can. Moving. Kind of worried we're going to get flanked. It's hard to tell where all these connecting hallways go, but that's kind of realistic. It's not like we would know that. Alright. Oh, I feel bad for you, Augustus. Really hoping you make it. Nice. Oh, you get another one? Okay. Yeah, look like oh, oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, not feeling bad about that at all. Uh, your bolter's overheating. Back you up. Put your overwatch. Now, does it give him one too? If it is, why aren't I using this every turn? Because that'll keep him at four. That ups him to five. So he gains one doesn't lose one for casting it, and basically gives one to everybody else. That's really good. Now, I'm hoping the mission's gonna end instantly, as soon as I finish this, but I'm kinda thinking that's not gonna be the case, because what would be the point of exit with three Terminators if one of your guys didn't make it? Kinda worried we're gonna get run down this corner, but not much I can do about that. I should've left him behind and just punched them out. Yeah, he doesn't deserve that. Brother, brother, Augustus has made his choice. He will serve as the fodder. Let them come. Target! Oh yeah, gunning him down. No come over to show me your fury. Enemy sighted. Three, so that's like five he's killed so far? Wow. I need to make sure this guy makes it. I don't know if I can. Bolter's overheating can't really go very far. Okay, if I take him off Overwatch, how far can he go? Oh my god. Alright, run for it, Augustus. Yeah, because these guys, they're gonna go. Teleport out. Moving. Now, you might figure, why didn't they just teleport us into the shield room? Teleporting technology is very ahead. unpredictable. The Terminator armor basically only works because it's big and heavy and bulky, but a lot of people, they try to use teleporters. It's not like the transport in Star Trek. It's just kind of, let's try to put them here and not teleport into a wall at the same time, is usually how it goes. Alright, you're on your own. Well, again, let's see if this guy walks into it if it just ends the mission with my surviving dudes. Objective completed. Come with us? No. Okay. Well, let's go. You can do it, Augustus. Next turn, we're just gonna start back walking you into the teleporter. <sighs> I think they might hit you this time. Oh, geez, they are right behind you. Oh, and they're right there. Oh no, Augustus. Well, if you can survive a turn of combat you might be okay. Because I think with four, if I put you there... Oh, you need to survive two turns of combat. Whatever. For the Emperor, man. Oh. Well. Eventually, my brothers. That was kind of an ignomious death. But you know what? We're going to avenge the hell out of him. So I lost two Terminators. How many of them did I get? 32. Okay, that's that's not bad. I mean, gene stealers are basically perfectly evolved killing machines. You know, getting two kills on that, not that bad. And we got two new level one guys that have some big old metal boots to fill there now. Wow. Okay, this game, nice and hard. Not too... Not too hard, I guess would be a good way to put it. I'm not sure how many missions there are. I'm assuming if i got to traverse this whole thing, it's going to be a lot. Okay, I guess... What's this symbol mean? I was going to end it here, but what's that mean? They, these guys gain levels? Unlocked skill incinerator. 
Terminator can move without losing a fire bonus. Well, that doesn't really matter for flamethrowers. I mean, I never moved and fired with him once. Okay, and I can increase his abilities. Okay, I need to give this guy more agility to give him more action points. That is, like, the most important thing. And it doesn't really matter if you hit, because you're just bathing the place with fire. So, let's give you... Let's save it. We'll get, save it and give you some more toughness next time. Can't even a big, tough flamethrower guy. Quintus, Stormbolter Mark IV. That's what this is called. This is Stormbolter, big double-barreled. And improved photo lenses. Oh, okay, so I can pick his skills. Plus five hit bonus when shooting. Oh, I can pick their skills. Wow, there's a lot of skills. Okay, what have I got? Sustained fire upgrade can move without losing sustained fire bonus. Reduces heat at double rate. Photo lenses. Okay, we're definitely gonna take the photo lenses. Cause plus five hit, you can't just go wrong with that. When when these things are coming at us, we gotta do it. Okay, again, I'd like to give you some more agility. So he's got three, next level of four. Sounds great. I'm perfectly okay with that. The rest of you guys are brand new. Okay, he... Oh, 99% to his next level. That's not fair. Okay, I can't change his appearance either. That's too bad. The rest of them I can kind of edit. Okay, can I make this guy look a little fancier? I mean, he's got the big fire thing now, so... Alright, yeah, you got the extra targeting thing up there. A little knee plate that says Ultra. Quintus. Macrage. Name your home world. Sounds good. Let's, let's bling you up a little bit if we can. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're gonna wear the whole... Iron Cross chapter symbol, purity seals magnetized to everywhere. So now you're looking pretty intense. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I can apparently I can jump campaigns whenever I want to. That's handy. All right. Well, we're gonna give a pause here. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching my uh, very first video. Um, I hope it encourage some of you to uh, check out the game if you can. I've heard a lot of people say uh, asking for likes and subscribes is kind of a good thing on this YouTube. So if you like it, please do. I'm probably going to be putting up videos at a pretty good rate here for the first couple times. And if you've got any other games you want me to play, let me know. I'm uh, pretty much open to anything. So yeah, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Gamer Jane.